uh, finding current in the series circuit. Eh? Let's start with uh, with an easy one. Okay, uh, in a series circuit, the current flow through each of the resistor is equal to the current flow through the whole circuit. I think we have learned this before, right? So let's say if the current, if the current at this point is two ampere, then the current at this point is also two ampere, and the current here is also two ampere. And the current here 2 ampere, the current inside is also 2 ampere, the current outside is also 2 ampere. So therefore, if they ask you to find the readings of the ammeter, you can find the currents at any point. Okay, here or here or here, any points, uh, okay, uh, that will be the same. Okay, okay? if the question asks you to find uh, the readings of the ammeter, okay, you can use this one to find your currents or you can use this resistor to find your current and you can, you can also use both of the resistor to find the currents. Okay, the reading will be the same, yeah, because the current is the same uh, for the whole circuit. Uh, second, this is about the potential difference. Huh? The potential difference across the whole circuit is equal to the EMF if the internal resistance is ignored. Okay, for example, sir, here if they give you, they tell you that the potential difference, oh, sorry, the EMF, huh? the EMF is equal to uh, three volt. Okay. It means, uh, it means uh, if we ignore the internal resistance, we assume that there's no internal resistance. If the question does not mention any internal resistance, then we, we ignore the internal resistance. Uh, okay? So we assume that there's no internal resistance. If there is no internal resistance, then uh, the potential difference across this point, the potential difference across these two points, uh, A and B, uh, okay, is also 3 volt. Okay, A and B is also three volt. Eh? Okay, then how about uh, let's say we have C and D. If I have a volt meter uh, connecting these two points, so what's the readings of the volt meter? Yes, three volt. Yes. Okay. If A to B three volt, C to D also three volt. Eh? Then how about this one? Is it still 3 volt? No. Okay, that's correct. No, not 3 volt. Eh? Then how about if I connect here to here? Still 3 volt? Yes. Okay, still 3 volt. Eh? Okay. Uh, that's very important. Eh? Very important because usually they just give you the EMF. Eh? So they give you EMF means that from here to here, uh, 3 volt. C to D, 3 volt. Or from this point to this point is also 3 volt. Finding current in a series circuit. Eh? If they give you the EMF and then they give you the if there are two resistor. Uh, from Ohm's law, eh, we learn that the relationship between potential difference current and resistance is given by this formula V equals to IR, right? V equals IR. Eh? If you want to find current, I equal to V over R. Eh? I equal to V over R. Now in this case, eh, if they give you E, uh, then uh, you can use this up uh, the potential difference uh, okay but always remember the potential difference is between this point and this point or this point and this point or this point and this point let's take this two point okay let's take this point as v yeah? okay v okay now if you take this two point for your v yeah, then your resistance is r1 plus r2 right because sometimes as the student they don't know whether they want they want to use R one or R two. Uh, okay, you must be very very sure. Eh? Okay, every time that so if you want to use this use this formula V equal to I R uh, to do the calculations, uh, you must be very very sure for the potential difference. Uh, what's the two point that you choose to measure the potential difference? Because for potential difference you must have two points. Eh? You must have two points to measure the potential difference. So what's the two point that you choose? If you choose this two point, then your resistance is R1 plus R2. If you choose this point and this point, uh, then, uh, then you cannot use R1 plus R2. So you see here, uh, we can use this formula V equals IR to find uh, the current uh, in a series circuit. But you must be very, very sure, uh, very, very sure about the potential difference that you use, uh, which two points you choose for the potential difference. Now let's see this example. Uh, let's see this example. So referring to diagrams on the left, okay, I think this should be this one, okay. Find the readings of the ammeter. They want to find the readings of the ammeter. 
we can use v equals ir eh? for a eh? we can use v equals to ir to solve the problems a okay we use v equals to ir okay the very first things that you need to determine is okay what's your v what's your v so they tell you that the emf equals to 12 volt so uh do you want to use this 12 volt for your calculations so you must ask yourself okay if you want to use this Okay, if you want to use this, uh, then you need to know which two point, which two point you choose uh, for this 12 volt. Okay, for this 12 volt, you can choose this. Okay, or you can choose this, or you can choose this. Uh, that's all 12 volt. Okay, let's say we choose this one. Huh? Okay, it's easy for us to see. Uh, okay, so we choose this two point. So if we choose these two points for your for our V, uh, 12 volt. Uh, okay, then the resistance uh, will be 2 ohms, right? So 12 volt and the resistance equals to 2 ohm. And therefore, the current is equal to 12 divided by 2 equals to 6 ampere. So uh, that is the readings of the emitter. Uh, the readings of the emitter. Then they want, B, they want us to find the current that flows through the resistor. It flows through the resistor. Okay, so what do you all think? The readings of the emitter is 2 ampere. So what's the... What's the current that flows through the uh, resistor? 6 ampere? Yes, that's correct. That's correct, 6 ampere. Why? Because I told you that for series circuit, from the beginnings to the end, the currents will be the same. If this is 6 ampere, this must also 6 ampere here, 6 ampere, inside 6 ampere, outside 6 ampere. Now A, they want us to find the readings of the emitter. So the readings of the emitter is 6 ampere, means the current here is 6 ampere. Then how about the read currents inside the resistor, flows through the resistor, okay? And uh, just uh, just now, I think we have discussed or we have learned that current in series circuits will be the same at any point. If the current here is 6 ampere, the current here must also 6 ampere, the current inside 6 ampere, the current outside must also 6 ampere, okay? So therefore, uh, A, yeah? The readings of the emitter is 6 ampere, and B, the currents that flow through the resistor must also be 6 ampere. Example 6. So in this one, okay, so first they want us to find the readings of the emitter, and second they want, want us to find the current flows through each of the resistor. Okay? Readings of the emitter and uh, currents that flows through each of the resistor. This one and this one. Okay? A and B. Now for B, then you have two answers. Okay, I R one, the current for R one and I R two, the current for R two. Okay, the answer for A is two ampere. That's correct. Okay, current so V equals to I R, and uh, the V is twelve volt. The I, we don't know. R is uh, two plus four. Eh? Okay, so the I is equals to two ampere. How about B? Okay, now this is a series circuit, right? So the currents flows through each of the resistors must also be the same. Eh? It's also 2 ampere and 2 ampere. 